August 11, 2021. This is really interesting and disturbing. Closed captioning on CBS2 News is brought to you by the New Jersey Division of Travel and Tourism. Actress Christina Applegate made the surprising announcement that she's been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She is now one of nearly one million people in the U.S. now suffering with this often misunderstood disease. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us more. Christina Applegate has been open about her health issues in the past, including her 2008 battle with breast cancer that led to a double mastectomy and removal of her ovaries and fallopian tubes. But now the Emmy Award winner and Bad moms. nominee is facing another <laughs> difficult health issue, multiple sclerosis. In a tweet this week, she made it clear that she'll confront this with the same courage as her breast cancer. Her treatment and prognosis will depend very much on what type of MS Applegate yeah. has. Relapsing or progressive. Both can cause varying degrees of similar symptoms. Among them, numbness or weakness in one or more limbs, double or blurry vision, fatigue, tingling or pain, tremor or unsteady gait, and problems with cognition. And although we don't know the underlying cause of MS, the Executive Vice President for Research at the National MS Society says we do know some risk factors. Uh, some of the big ones include exposure You really to don't know anything, but at, at, at a young age. you pretend. It includes, uh, He's good at reading. D, it includes smoking. Uh, and includes childhood obesity. We know that there's a genetic predisposition for MS. It's not an inherited disease, so let's be clear about that. But That's it, there, a good there thing. There are genetic risks for, for MS. Requirement, I believe. That Applegate's prognosis depends a lot on the type of MS she has, but that there are a number of drugs available now and in the pipeline. Oh, aren't you all just making so much fucking MS money by breaking people, assholes? Quality of life for those patients. Dr. Beaver Listen to this. Ready? MS can occur at any age, but most commonly between the ages of 20 and 50, and two to three times as often in women, especially those of Northern European descent, all huh. for unknown reasons. Right. So no, we know. Those fit right into that disease demographic. Dr. Max Gomez. No, we know MS. why it's affecting and First being targeted to that specific population that I fit in. Star 1978, star 8378. It's called biological terrorism and biological targeting based on this matrix and diagnostics and successful ratio of doing what needs to be done. Right now, in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361, in the century 20, year 21, I'm a centurion, century 19, year 78, inside of this Brussels sprout attached to an artichoke. It's an aristocratic shaka, and it's right now, it feels like walking around in a compression stocking. It feels like a, a, an inverted vortex where instead of your body being able to keep your, your density thin and move around easily in the compression unit, it feels like it's being sucked outward and thickened, and then it's also hard to move because it's been, you're, I mean, literally the air molecules are moving so fast in this radiological nightmare. It's pressing up and becoming, after you increase in your biomatrix density, it then displaces other things and it becomes heavy and hard to walk in, like a compression stocking, and still trying to move your arms when everything's pushing down on you. And not like a quick, like, really great workout. No, this is like you can't get away from it, and the more you stand still, the more you, you petrify, literally, or vit not vitrify is melting into something, but you actually stiffen up and harden and petrify like a petroglyph in a rock, and then it becomes harder and stiffer and more difficult. You lose more and more mobility in a long, dilated period of time. It's a really disgusting death sentence. I do not understand why I'm in this disgusting human arrangement with you shitbags.